time to go. I'm leaving to go to New York. Watching my little bunny friend. Yes, he's a happy little bunny. Happy little tree. Happy little car. All right. Yeah. Starting to make two meals today. I'm actually making chicken cutlets today. I'm looking for something easy and quick. And then I'm putting together a roast and I was gonna do it in the crock pot, but I think I'm just gonna stick it in the oven and do the seasonings I usually do for like roast pork kind of thing, uh, like a bini. I'm gonna put that together and then put potatoes inside and all the seasonings that I usually would use and just stick it in the oven, but have it ready so that way tomorrow I don't have to worry about it. And then my daughter should be here the following day, but I figured tomorrow I'm gonna put some, either tomorrow or today, but you'll see it on the, this video where I'm gonna put together some breakfast choices so it makes it easier for the morning routine to start getting ready because once she gets here, probably, you know, I have to get the routine again. So I have to figure some things out. So I figure if I can make some meals ahead and make some breakfast stuff ahead and get myself situated, it cuts some of my jobs out and I can figure out other things. But that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to put that together. We're going to eat. And then I need to get some rest before, you know, things get busy. Yeah, I did what I usually do. Quick uh, roasted potatoes. I just garlic seasoning. I put Italian and a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to stick this in the oven for the girls. I am planning on having uh, spinach with mines and then i'm gonna do the chicken cutlets i usually just put eggs with uh breadcrumbs this is the one from the italian breadcrumbs from walmart and that's quick so you know it's one of those you know i don't want to waste any time i just want to do it really quick not nothing special or fancy this is what we're eating so i'm going to put that together for us today this is for the roast i usually just throw the potatoes in i might just you know throw a little bit of olive oil on top but not much I already have a paste that I'm, I put together. What I usually make, like I said, I usually make a roast, a bendy, but I put most of the seasonings together and I'm gonna use that paste to lather the meat. This is the meat I have. I cut them into three portions, you know, when I went food shopping. It was the frosting, I just opened it and I had it on that side, the frosting with the other meat. But anyways, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put the sauce on it, put it in there, wrap it up, and I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator for tomorrow so I don't have to worry about it. And then tomorrow I'll show you what I'm doing for breakfast so you can see that put together. I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking, <laughs> I'm freaking exhausted. Um, the drive over there was uh, pretty rough and my husband wanted to get there to see some family members before they were gone. So I kind of kept him up to drive straight down over there in one day, but then coming back, it's gonna take longer. But anyways, um. I wanted to put some carrots in my roast. I like the way it looks. I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste good, but I wanted to put some carrots in there and I ran out of carrots. So, you know, it, <laughs> it is what it is at this time. I'm gonna be happy with that meal either way. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna pack that up, put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna start cooking the chicken cutlets. And if I'm talking too fast, I am really sorry. It is a little bit of my Puerto Rican and it's a little bit of uh, lack of sleep. As you can see, we got our happy little traffic. Uh huh, happy little traffic. Driving five mile an hour because, because, because he can. It's all good. All good. So, I'm driving on the road again. Um, I'm gonna try to take as much video as as possible for you. And uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do an O2. An ode to Bob Ross for this happy little driving trip, if you couldn't have told already. Welcome back to Valmas. Today, we are going to be making an abstract painting. This is the first stop of our happy little trip. I'm at a happy little gas station. Yep, I need some happy little fuel. <sighs> happy days. Mmm, yummy. I can't wait to eat that. I was gonna put it in the crock pot, but honestly, I think that's gonna come out much better. So let me start working on that. So we are in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, stop number two of the wonderful, happy little road trip. And uh, so far, so good. Car is running like a champ. It's gorgeous out here. This is Hammond, Wisconsin. Not much of anything. What color is it? Oh, it's a 
Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't even do my hair today. I was trying to think, is four hours a good enough amount of sleep? Because I don't feel like it is. And I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead tired. <laughs> Clean up and relax while I can because tomorrow I got more things to do. And I'll share that with you. So, <sighs> all night of driving. This is wonderful New York. Yeah. I feel like I've taken a bunch of um, NyQuil. Yeah. Jeremy's on his way back. I am going to make those breakfast things today that I said I was going to do. Today's another day. I slept good. I feel good. <laughs> I'm going to take my little doggy out. Get started get the stuff together so that we have breakfast for the next couple of mornings a week or two i'm planning on making french toast sticks some waffles ahead i then i just put them in the freezer and then put them in a bag and that'd be good for a little bit and then i'm also going to make some breakfast burritos i haven't made them in a while uh the girl's been asking me i didn't buy much but a little bit of everything should hold us for at least a good two weeks or so but we'll see how long that lasts. And I figured, you know, that way I don't have to worry about breakfast. And I had, you saw how much cereal I bought. I, it was convenient shopping, so they they will be good. They'll have some good breakfast, they'll have some easy breakfast, and I don't have to worry about breakfast for a little while. And then I can get some things done in the mornings and go from there. So I'm gonna go do that. This is what natural looks like if I don't do anything to it, but uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be natural for the next couple of days. Let me take him out. I'm just gonna get the pans I need. Since it's a little thing of sausage, I can probably just make it ready right here. And then I'll just throw the eggs in there and I should be good. But yeah, I just, I'm, I figured I'd make breakfast ahead because I don't know about you guys i'm not a breakfast or morning person i get up in the morning because i have to but i just i'm not in the mood to be making anything that early i prefer to have the breakfast done already and we in in my house when we were growing up i they always made something like there was always big breakfast big, big stuff prepared my father and my mom used to get in the kitchen put stuff together all the time every day we had breakfast every day it was a good one and um you would think that i wanted to do breakfast because i grew up always having a well prepared meal in the morning but no i don't <laughs> i don't want to make breakfast i sometimes don't even want to get up in the morning you know i, I get it because i have to of course every day and do what i need to do but um they got cereal they're gonna have breakfast burritos they're gonna have waffles i've got hash browns they're gonna have pancakes when they feel like it you know like just grab and go and i might even not today but i might make some egg muffins or whatever those breakfast muffins so my husband could take when he goes to work but we'll see what i can get done and what gets done but for today i'm just doing the breakfast burritos and a couple of uh, waffles so i can freeze them and go from there and then yeah we'll see how it goes the girls are probably going to be happy because that means that they can have a breakfast burrito today so i'll make that quick it's 8 55 now they'll probably be getting up because it's summertime they sleep in but when they get up they'll actually have breakfast today so Yay for me. <laughs> Breakfast one day. I think I showed you when I had done the closet in the bathroom and I had put the uh, put that little container with the drawers so that I can get everything organized in there. Then I started going through all of what we had in there. So I definitely have to take a trip. I'm not sure if I want to do Costco or where. I'm like looking around for the prices. Probably Costco because you can buy in bulk, but um, I definitely want to get 
stock of everything I need. So that way for when my daughter gets here, you know, I don't have to worry about it. I didn't say I was gonna do that, but I haven't. I have to get some stuff for the fish now that we have more animals and get some more things for, because I think the hamster's close to running out of food. So I might take a trip to Costco soon so that I can pack up a couple of things that all the animals need, all the things we need. I'm gonna take a trip soon. I think I'm gonna get this done and do some things with the girls for summertime. And we're probably still doing something for summer. We have a couple of things lined up, but I was just waiting for my daughter to get here and then we're gonna make some memories. You ever made the mistake of putting time lapse when you're recording yourself and like you recorded nothing because it's all time lapsed? I was showing you what I was doing prepping the breakfast burrito. And I can't remember everything I said, but yeah, I was talking about um, how I don't eat burritos at all. I don't eat, um, the only thing I eat with wraps are like tuna fish wraps I make and like turkey and cheese wraps and I'll melt them. But besides that, I don't eat breakfast burritos, no tacos, no regular burritos. Um, most of the time I make them is for the family because everybody else eats them. And I usually just grab some toast and coffee and I'll have that instead. But I usually make this for the family because, you know, instead of cooking for everybody, when, I, when I'm hungry, I'll just grab something quick instead of having to figure out what everybody wants because I know what they like. So I just make it ahead and, you know, kills two birds in one stone. I don't remember everything else I said. I'm sorry because I was talking to myself on time lapse. <laughs> and that's why, you know, the brain cells, you gotta, you gotta let them, rejuvenate from lack of sleep so we'll see i don't know i hopefully uh hopefully my brain and my mouth catch up with itself to be determined <laughs> we'll see if that works out also like i feel like these this is a month enough eggs for everything like i always measure it out more or less like not that i measure it out i kind of calculate in my head how much i need but i know that people do put milk inside of it i think my husband said well he even does it with milk and i think he said because it just gives it yields more and honestly i'd rather just put more eggs in it because eggs are so cheap right now and even if they weren't i'll just have to calculate because i don't like putting so much extra ingredients so really i don't even put seasonings in it and the girls love it because the cheese gives it the flavor anyways so that's just eggs plain eggs and plain sausage which is done. I'm gonna turn it off. But I'm gonna put this together because that way the girls can have some now and put the rest away and I'll let you know how much they yield. So for a dozen eggs and one pound of sausage, I made four without cheese, four with cheese, and the girls got one there to eat. So basically 10 breakfast burritos with 12 eggs and one pound of cheese and one pound of uh, sausage that's what i said right let's go all over again one pound of sausage 12 eggs made all this and two more <laughs> so 10 burritos there we go i didn't have my freezer bags so what i did is i wrapped them with uh with wax paper to keep them from the moisture and then i put them in individual little packets so there's one with no cheese and then there's one with cheese you can see it <laughs> hiding there. So that way they know who's is who. Because Lily likes no cheese and Val likes cheese. So they'll be happy. I told you convenience shopping. They still have plenty of uh, <laughs> plenty of little pizzas for lunch. So some of the lunches I don't have to worry about. We got the patties here, sausages, their breakfast burritos. We even have chicken nuggets, stuff for smoothies. And I'm gonna make the waffles, stick that in there, and we're good to go. I used to have problems with, uh, sorry, that's my coffee pot going off. <laughs> I used to have problems with timing. Like I, I can remember a time where I used to be frantic and I had to have things at a certain time and I was looking at the clock all the time like oh my god it's too late and I'm not getting this done and it's just it, when you get older I guess you start calming down from that 
and you start looking at the time and you're like, ah, it's fine. I could do it an hour later, two hours later. And it's so many hours in a day. And I used to stress about that. And now it's like, I still get things done and decent timing. And all that stress was for nothing, you know? So if anything, if you can go away with anything from this video, it's like, don't sweat that you're not getting things done at a certain time. Take your time, it's gonna get done, it's still gonna happen, and you're gonna be happy that you didn't have to go crazy doing it. Look at it. 